Hey guys, welcome back to Automotive Stories and today I'm going to be doing a quick review of only the cool features of this brand new 2018 Infiniti Q50. Now this particular Q50 is not the S or the 2 liter turbo, this has the mighty 3 liter tube turbo with around 300 horsepower and not only is it fast, it looks great. So on with the tour. I'm going to let you guys glaze of the gorgeous twin turbocharged V6 producing 300 horsepower. And it sounds decent. Take a listen. This car does not have an automatic trunk. You actually have to do this, and when you undo it here, you actually have to lift it, ugh, which is pretty heavy still. And of course, you have the latch for if ever you're kidnapped and you want to get out of the trunk. Trunk space is decent, not the best. And I just love the aggressive look of the running lights in the front. They make the car look like it's going to come and eat you like a predator or something, and I love it. All right, as I said, this is going to be a brief review only of the features. I will not be driving this car in this review, but I will be able to show you the best features and the weird things in this car. Starting off with the center console and the screens. Yes, screens. This car, for some reason, has two center screens. This screen controls the navigation. That's it. And when you put it in reverse, you get the 360 camera. This one, on the other hand, controls everything. You have the audio, you have your home button with all your apps, and your climate controls. Speaking of climate controls, your heated seats, it's not a physical button, but a screen button, and you decide automatic if the car sees will adjust to the interior temperature and will adjust your seat temperature accordingly. You'll have high, medium, low, you know, typical things. but. I don't understand why it's not a physical button. Even this heated steering wheel is buried, well buried, is in the climate controls. Physical buttons work. And already that this is a weird setup, you got to really know where those buttons are. And then you have this wheel and you might be wondering, Peter, what does this do? Well, this wheel only does one thing, apparently. And it zooms the map. Okay? It zooms the map and controls the map. One of the best features in my opinion in this car is right here. And that would be the drive modes. Eve drive mode is appearing in the center controls, the screen in the middle, and the main screen. So we have sport, we have sport plus, we have personal which means you can adjust the transmission differently to your suspension and so on. And of course you have standard echo and snow. So this car has particularly a lot of drive mode. So as I said, you also see all these drive modes in the screen in the middle. And of course you have this button which activates the cameras all around the vehicle as we see for the moment. This car of course has 360 and when you put it in reverse you especially get your rear view camera, which is pretty cool. Now, there is really one thing I'm really happy about this car. This being a 2018 model, especially. Uh, you know how cars today, they all have weird shifters, weird ways. You know, you have a, a dial. It's a little ridiculous little thing. And this car, not at all. It's actually a rear gear lever. And it feels really heavy and sturdy. And that's what you love. And that's what I love about this car. And the shift paddles are actually collar mounted and not on the steering wheel, which is great. That means when you're driving this car in Sport Plus and you're on the racetrack and you turning a wheel, you'll remember where each paddle are. And that is really, really a cool touch that Infiniti has done. You have your normal turn signals and windshield wipers, basic stuff. Push start start and uh, climate controls right here dual zone and uh, yeah you of course have a Bose premium sound system I don't know if that's real wooden trim but otherwise this interior actually feels pretty sturdy solid and nice which is kind of fun 
You have super duper comfortable rear seats with uh, climate vents and you know, leg room is a little compromised, but besides that, it's a nice place to be in for a while. And there you have it, the Q50. It is a great car filled with features, filled with weird ways that everything is placed, but otherwise, it's a really good all around luxury sedan. It's beautiful, really. I mean, this is probably one of my favorite sedans. It looks great. And even though we live in a world of SUVs, I think this car still stands out as a beautiful car. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video.